Okay, welcome to this next video guys, um, Operations on Fractions. And this time we're going to be looking at Multiplication and Division. Okay, and our learning goal for this one is that students will be able to solve problems involving percentages and all four operations with fractions and decimals still. And at the end of this sort of video and associated exercises, you'll want to be able to perform multiplication and division operations on fractions of all forms. Okay, all right. So firstly, before we get into it, I want to talk about uh, some conceptual shifts that I'd like you to consider as you're about to do this. So in the past, multiplication would have given you a bigger number. For example, if we had 4 times 5, that's going to be 20. And obviously 20 is larger than both 4 and 5. Okay, uh, And also, if we had... Uh, let's say 63 divided by 9, that's going to get you 7. So when you divide it, you, got, you typically got a number smaller than the two numbers that you started off with, Okay, which, which makes sense when you are multiplying by whole numbers. Um, however, things change when you're multiplying and dividing by numbers that are less than 1, so between 0 and 1, Okay, like 0 point such and such. Okay, now. So, so you wrap your mind in that kind of zone for a moment, and uh, one way to kind of think about uh, multiplying fractions, an idea, so you can, in the same way as we, we last term made an array, where if you got like a block of four and a block of five and shove them together, you got 20 blocks, because you multiply the four this way and the five that way, and all intersect and stuff. We can get, um, now, let's say we were going to go for two thirds times three quarters, okay, we could get a block that's been divided up into thirds and that many of them. And we're going to intersect that with a block now that is made up of quarters. So it's broken up into one, two, three, and four, and four of it's shaded. Let's make it a different color. Okay, now if we make that into an array like we had before, right, and we intersect those two, okay. So this, we, we turn it into an array. Now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pieces now of our array. And our intersected area is this piece here. Okay, And so our multiplication to, to fractions ends up getting 6 lots of the 12. And you'll, you'll sort of see how that works Okay, um, as we go about the actual operation itself. Now for our division, the best thing you can remember about what division means is that, remember if we had 3 divided by 4, okay, this asks how many, uh, let's make it, 23 divided by 4. How many 4s in 23? Okay, remember that's what that's asking. How many 4s are there that can fit inside 23? Okay, you could think about what if we broke up 23 into 4 equal pieces. That doesn't kind of work when we're thinking about dividing by fractions, okay? So remember how many 4s are there in 23? Okay, right, let's have a look at some of our key ideas. Now you'll love this about fractions. Multiplying and dividing fractions is way easier than adding and subtracting them, in my opinion. So when we're multiplying two fractions, the key is that you simply smash them together, okay? So if we have here a half times an eighth, okay? So as, as normal, I'm gonna rewrite that for you. So a half times an eighth, okay? We just smash these two together, so we essentially get the to, uh, the numerators multiply the numerators multiply together so 1 times 1 and the denominators the denominators only just multiply so 2 times 8 gets up 1 times 1 is almost always 1 so 1 times 1 over 2 times 8 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 8 is 16, and we're left there. Okay, 
So uh, that's how we go about our multiplication of fractions. So I'm going to show you a couple little examples here. So 7 eighths times 2 thirds. So we just multiply numerators together. So 7 and 2. 7 times 2 over 8 times 3. And that gets us 14 over 24, of which the highest common factor is uh, 2. So we're going to get 7 over 12, okay? Because we divide by 2, divide by 2, okay? Now, I'm just going to show you a little bit of a shortcut. If we bring this equal sign down here, 7 times 2 over 8 times 3, we can break this 8 up into its factors and go 7 times 2, 8 times 2 times 3. I mean, not 8 times 2, 4 times 2, because that's factors of 8. Okay. So 4 times 2 times 3, and these 2's cancel out, okay, because 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we end up just with 7 over 12. Okay, so that's a little shortcut thing that you can do. All right, when we're multiplying our fractions with mixed numbers, I highly recommend that you just change them to their uh, improper equivalent. So 1 and a 7th is equal to 8 sevenths. And 2 and 3 quarters is equal to 11 quarters. So you'll have 8 over 7 times 11 over 4. And 88 over 28. Um, 2 is going to be a, a common factor. So 44 over 14. 2 is still a factor. 22 over 7 and we're done. Okay. So remember to always check that you can simplify. It's really important. And in exam situations and assessment situations, really any life situation where fractions are involved, you're going to expect to uh, have to see a simplest version of a fraction. Okay. Uh, now this is an important one to remember, this idea of calculate four-fifths of something. Okay. So remember that. When we had, let's take our example before, 4 times 5 is 20. That's the same as saying 4 lots of 5 is 20. Okay, so when we have 4 fifths of 16, that's telling us this here now that we want 4 fifths times 16. Okay, now there's no, there's a numerator here. This 16 is a numerator, but there's no denominator. So we can just put our own one in there by saying, well, Let's just make one the denominator because when we divide by one, we get the same thing back. So 16 is the same thing as 16 over one. Okay, so let's go for four times 16 over five. Four times 16 is 64 over five and we're done. Okay, so uh, if you're asked to express it, leave it as a fraction, you're done. We will look at later on at converting fractions into decimals because 64 over 5 doesn't really mean a lot. Okay, all right. Uh, let's quickly spend a bit of time talking about division. It, it like uh, multiplication, is also very easy to uh, calculate. Okay, so there's a little bit of a process though first. Okay, so there's... Step one, okay, is that we flip the divisor, and then secondly, we multiply instead. Okay, so remember, divisor is this second one here. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to get this one here, rewrite it here, and now we have three over four. That stays. This 1 over 8 flips to be 8 over 1, and instead of dividing now, we multiply. Okay, these are exactly the same. All right, so 3 times 8 is 24. 4 times 1 is 4. 24 divided by 4 is 6. Okay, so this is saying how many eighths are there in a 3 quarters? Well, there's 6 of them. Okay, and that kind of makes sense. So even though 6 is bigger than these two individually, remember I said that earlier, that's sort of how division by fractions works, okay? All right, so we'll have a look at these ones here. So 16 divided by 4 over 9, same deal. We keep the 16 the same, we change it to multiplication, and we flip the divisor, okay? 16 times 9 over 4. This is the one here that got flipped around. Okay, now remember, 
16 over 1 is the same as 16. So we have 16 times 9 over 4. Okay, now rather than carry all this out, sometimes it's handy to remember that 4 times 4 is 16. Those two here are going to cancel out. And we are left with 4 times 9 is 36. Okay, there's 36, lots of 4 ninths in 16. Okay, so hopefully it's starting to land a little bit for you. It is sometimes can be a bit of a drama. Uh, showing you now here lastly how to do it when the second number is a whole number. So same deal, 13 over 2, 12. It's going to be multiplied now. Uh, and this is going to flip. So remember that 4 over 1 is the same as 4. So if that flips, we're going to be left with 1 over 4. Okay, we multiply that. So we have 13 times 1 over 12 times 4, which is 13 over 48. And we're done. Okay, so sort of putting a couple of concepts in there at once, but they're both very similar and far easier than multiplication, uh, sorry, addition and subtraction of fractions. So I hope you uh, enjoyed that and please come see me at school if you have any issues and uh, have a good day.